Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing a special type of mixture and that is solution. Let's go. The general idea that we have is that matter can be divided into two. We have mixture and pure substance. Solution is under homogeneous and homogeneous is under mixture. So we will be focusing about the definition of solution. Now, on this video, we will discuss about types of solution, particularly they will be classified on according to how they are made and according to its components. We will also be discussing about solute versus solvent. So what is a solution then? Solution can be classified as homogeneous mixture. It is also defined as group of molecules that are mixed and evenly distributed in a system. So you when you mix two substances and they form a solution, you say that one substance dissolves in the other substance. Let's say for example we have here the, this pink powder. You put it in water and then therefore you will create a solution. But as you can see, the characteristic of this uh, liquid solution is that it looks like there is only one appearance. We cannot distinguish which one will be the solute or which one is the solvent. We cannot distinguish the two substances anymore because simply they only appear as one composition but in reality it is composed of two substances. Now, What's the difference between solutions and other mixture? There are also different type of uh, mixture. First, we have homogeneous mixture. And under homogeneous mixture, we have solution. From the word itself, homogeneous, homo means one, and genus means phase. Let's say, for example, this tang powder, this is the orange powder. You have, we have here the water. And then we mix up tang and water, and then therefore, we cannot even distinguish which one would be the orange powder and which one is the water. Okay, it has one face, meaning to say it has one appearance. For heterogeneous, we have two types. Heterogeneous is other type of mixture. We have suspension and colloids. So here are the examples of colloids, and we will study this topic uh, la later. Now, examples of colloids would be clouds, ice cream, gelatin, and example of suspension is here. Let's say, for example, this blood in a test tube. You uh, make it stand for about two hours, and then what will happen here is the plasma component as well as the blood component will be separated. Therefore, blood is a suspension. So when we say heterogeneous and it is colloid, that is particular two-phase. But for suspension, that is two-phase but particle settles at the bottom. So solutions have two parts. We have solute and solvent. How do we define solute? Solute simply, it is the substance that dissolves or usually the substance found in less amount. However, when we say solvent, it is the substance in which the solute dissolves or usually found in greatest amount. This one, this is the copper sulfate. You place it in water and then you mix it up. Therefore, we form a copper sulfate solution. We cannot even distinguish which one is copper, is which one is the copper sulfate and which one is the water, but we just see a color blue solution. Now, another example we have here, water plus sugar, and then therefore we form a sugar solution. Next will be water plus alcohol. We mix it up, and, we, and when we mix it up, we cannot even distinguish which one is the water, which one is the alcohol, and therefore we call it as 70% alcohol solution. Take note that uh, there is no chemical reaction between water and alcohol. 
Now, we have different types of solution and we will classify them based on how they are made. The first type of solution is naturally occurring solution. These are solutions that are readily available in nature like water, seas, and minerals. The second type would be the manufactured or processed solution. These are man-made materials that are useful to mankind. So one example of a uh, naturally occurring solution is seawater. And the other one would be rainwater because it is also composed of uh, uh, water and other substances that might seem uh, un unnoticeable by our eye. So one another example of naturally occurring solution is air. It is composed of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 1% argon, 0.04% carbon dioxide, and traces of argon, helium, neon, krypton, and xenon. One Example of manufactured or processed solution is vinegar. It is a man-made substance. We also have gasoline and we also have alloys. Now, let's try to classify types of solution based on compo components of phases of matter. We have three types. It is gaseous solution, we have liquid solution, and we have solid solutions. For the gaseous solutions, we could have a solute gas and a solvent gas, and an example for that is air, a gas solute and a liquid solvent, that would be water and carbon, uh, and carbon dioxide, and solid solute plus uh, uh, solvent gas, and example for that is dust in the air. How about for liquid solution? So look at the table. We have an example here, liquid solute plus liquid solvent. We have alcohol in water. Uh, this one is an example of that, the one that we are familiar with. And the other also would be uh, sugar in water, wherein the uh, uh, solute is solid, that is the sugar, and the uh, water is liquid, and that is the solvent. And next, we have also solid solution. One example for that is solute gas plus solid, and that is the hydrogen in, in palladium. As what I've said earlier, there is no chemical interaction between hydrogen and palladium. They just mixed up. They, they are just physically combined. Now, for uh, liquid liquid, we have uh, amalgams. This is usually used in uh, dental fillings. And we also have alloys. And one example of alloy is brass. Okay? Let's say, for example, this one is a copper. And then you mix it with zinc. And then, therefore, it will form brass. Take note, there is no chemical reaction between copper and zinc. They just being mixed up. That's why they form brass. So in summary, we will discuss about types of solutions and they are classified based on how they are made, which is naturally occurring, processed and manufactured. And also we discuss about uh, different types of solution according to its components. We have liquid solutions, gaseous solutions, and solid solutions. We also discuss about solute, which is usually present in smaller amount and solvent, which is usually present in larger amount. So thank you very much for watching my video. And on the next video, we will discuss about uh, this topic, insoluble versus soluble, and the term diluted and concentrated.